Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, as we are going to discuss right, how to how to write the syntax for nested while loop and what is the flow of a nested while loop. We'll see. As we know, the imp means what the importance of logical programming in every application. And in logical programming, nested while loop also is a play key roles in some of the situations. Right here it is we are going to discuss the syntax and as well as the flow chart of nested while loop. Okay, see. So, first of all, so what is a nested while loop means defining while loop inside another while loop. So, as a nested while loop syntax, nested while so, defining while loop, defining while loop inside another while loop. So, this is a, is a while and it is outer condition, outer loop it is, outer condition and inside this while loop is we are writing one more while loop. So, this is inner loop. So, here we are saying this, it is a inner condition it is a inner condition. Inside the inner while loop, so we need to write uh, all the statements belongs to this inner while loop. Here, these are inner loop statements, inner loop statements. And next in the outer loop, you can write outer loop statements also. And of course, inner loop is belongs to outer loop not only the loop a general statements also you can write if you want to write here you can write outer loop statements here and here also you can write outer loop statements outer loop statements we can write these are these are now so look at the flow so first it will go and check the outer condition outer condition it will check. Suppose, if outer condition has failed directly it terminates. Suppose, if outer condition is true the control move inside, move inside. First, it will execute all the outer statements you define. After that, it will check the inner loop, it will check the condition right inner condition. If condition is a true again the control will come to here, it will execute all the inner statements and after that it is not end because it is a loop, loop means what as long as the condition is true it will execute. So, here only it will repeat, here only again it will check the condition and again it will loop. as long as the condition is true it will repeat here only and when the control come out of that suppose if condition has failed then the control come to outer statements. If inner loop condition has failed, then it will execute outer statements and after execution of outer statements, again here outer loop repeats, outer while. And again same story, if outer condition is a true once again, the control move inside and all the things execute and it will repeat, right this is. And look at the flow, right flow chart how to write as a first, it will start, it will start. So, first it is checking that outer condition. So, here, here this is outer condition, it is outer condition and for every condition two options are there, true or false. For example, if it is a false, if it is a false, so directly the control will move to end, it will terminate directly flow if outer condition has failed. So, suppose if outer condition is true, if outer condition is true, then the control move inside and it will execute all the outer statements and it will check inner condition. So, First, it will print all the outer statements, all the outer statements and then it will check inner loop condition. So, this is inner condition and again for this inner condition also two options, true or false options are there. 
if inner condition is a true it will execute inner loop statements and again it will repeat inner while loop only if condition is a true right here it will check inner statements only is a inner statements only and after that after that it will go and check inner condition once again so here only the loop will repeat as long as the inner condition is true suppose if inner condition has failed is a false then it will execute outer statements the remaining outer statements whenever inner condition is a is a false remaining outer statements it will execute remaining outer statements after execution of outer statements again it will go and check outer condition only here it will go and check outer condition this is execution if inner condition has failed then it will go and check outer condition if outer condition has failed then directly it will terminate so this is the syntax and this is the flow how the nested while loop executes in any programming language right to implement logical programming using nested loops we need to follow this flow hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you mm -hmm.